Okay, I starting this episode off, I'm going to have to explain a couple of things about what happened. I unfortunately, and this happened about two months ago, and I've been thinking about how I was going to resolve the situation up until, I don't know, about a half an hour ago. But I lost my save. I was running this on a, an emulator on the PC, and, well, my save went bye-bye. So, I, uh thought about what I could do. I could start back a little ways, or... I mean, I didn't have any saves, actually. So I'd have to start the game from the beginning and race my way up here. That eh, didn't seem like a good solution. Uh, what I decided to do was to hop on the internet and download a save, which was actually just a tad further along in this dungeon than where I had left off in the previous episode. But really, it doesn't make that big of a difference since nothing really happened between where I left off and where we are now. I jumped into the crystal world, uh, we're at the end of the crystal world, but I will notice some big change. The characters are jacked up. Look at this shit. They got all of the best armor and all of the best weapons. Also, um, they leveled up Freya instead of Steiner. All the other characters are like level 20-something. So, the, whoever put this on the internet clearly had different focuses in terms of characters. They also probably used a game shark because look at this 999 of everything that's that's insane and it's not even possible so somebody clearly used a game shark so i mean i'm it's not my ideal solution but it's the only way i can do it it's either this or i, I just wasn't going to end up finishing this series so right up here we're going to go and jump through this little portal here and we're going to go fight kucha Okay, the first of these battles is not going to be against Kuja. But against this weird dragon thing. Well, Stingray dragon thing? I don't know what the hell it's supposed to be. Alright, so let's kill this damn thing. Oh, Vivi's got return magic. That's crazy powerful. <laughs> Returns any um, any spell back at the target that it, that attacked him with it. So, oh man, look at the damage! Shit. Just to recap, because it's actually been a little while since I was playing this game, so. Or actually, it was something that had commonly happened. Happened repeatedly during my playthrough. I went and I would... I would fall off the, the wagon or whatever, and... I wouldn't play the game for like a few weeks or months, even. So, this, uh... This journey of making this, um... This series... Has taken me a long time. 
and it's happened a number of times where I've stopped playing. And this re most recent time was only because I lost my save, because I was so close to the end of the game. But just to get to the point of what I'm trying to say is I might repeat a couple of things that I said in previous episodes. So anyway, just to sort of have a recap of where we are in the world. Uh, Kuja has discovered that his life was short. I'm not quite sure how old Kuja was supposed to be. I guess it was like somewhere in 20s or 30-something years old. And he was intended to be the sort of like facilitator of sort of Terra absorbing Gaia. And that, uh, he wasn't, like, trusted. Like, you, you can't create something like that with such a, such an evil purpose or something like that and give it free reign to run, a, run around on its own. Oh, he's alive. <laughs> so, Garland went and sort of pre-programmed into his DNA that he will not live forever. He will die eventually. And it's actually pretty soon, apparently. So Cooch is like, well, if I'm gonna die, then the world's gonna freaking die with me. So he went and found this original crystal, which I guess is sort of like the center of the universe or some shit. And he plans to... Damn it, stop killing Zidane. <laughs> oh, okay, that missed. So, we gotta stop him, but apparently, even if we do, even if we do stop him, then, I mean, Gaia's probably doomed anyway, because Terra's still gonna absorb Gaia. But, I mean, it's better to allow that to happen and let the rest of the universe live than let Kuja destroy it. Now, just... What the this? Just trying to remember how this fight went. This fight was always a little bit of a disappointment, I think. I mean, Kuja's there. He's sort of floating above the party, sort of like the way Sephiroth did in his fight, but... in 7, but... I don't know. In comparison, he's a little bit of an underwhelming... little bit of an underwhelming enemy. At least in terms of as like a pure physical threat, the reality was the majority of the game was spent with us not really getting a good idea of what Kuja was capable of. And then the only like the only real hint we eventually got was that like him and his white dragons killed the queen and took over Bahamut and all that. But then again, it was really just like the Invincible and Garland that was doing that stuff. So, I don't know, what what were we really um, fighting against? Then eventually he trances and he fucks up the city in, in Terra. So I guess, I mean, there was that, but that was after he had tranced. And even then, like, sure he's going to destroy the universe, but, I mean, it's not just by a sure act of power that he's going to do it. Plus, the fight against him wasn't that tough, even when I wasn't ridiculously overpowered. The fight against Death Guys was a little easier than I was expecting it to, also. Mostly, probably just 
because of our characters having are being ridiculously overpowered. The music isn't too bad, but it's not. Hmm. Never seen this spell before. At least I don't remember it. The hell? <laughs> was that what was supposed to happen? Shit, look at all this. <laughs> Oh, everybody's back up. All right. <laughs> He's curing himself. <laughs> Don't kill everyone, damn it. <laughs> <Ha -ha. laughs> oh shit. Okay. That, that Doomsday spell just did a lot of damage to everybody. That was funny. Look at all this shit. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not dead. Okay. <laughs> So, a uh, weird kind of situation I found myself in here. <laughs> Probably should have thought this out a little bit more. I mean, I did see all of the arrows appearing over every character. Should have figured that it was going to hit everyone. What the hell am I doing here? Man, am I going to get caught up in this weird little cycle of... Oh yeah, Res Vivi, that makes sense. Oh, well, okay. No, don't kill everyone. Damn it. Oh, okay. It hits her. She'll probably survive it. Okay, I'm finally recovering. <laughs> that was a stupid move. Should I take the risk and see what this does? <laughs> the audio is getting a little messed up. Oh, 
Oh, hurt, hurt him. <laughs> that made sense. All these abilities that I'm just kicking my own ass. Finally, let's get back to attacking now. I can't do it with Vivi because freaking Kuja has a damn barrier up. Oh yes, return magic. Shit, he's got the <laughs> Probably should have disabled that if I had seen this coming. Your attacks all take too damn long. I get they want to make all the attacks look big and epic and all that kind of stuff, but you don't want it to all just sit there and take forever. Now, of course, it's a problem that this entire game has. The battles are just slow-paced. Oh my god, enough of that shit. <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah, it's especially bad in this. Because seemingly every every attack that Kuja throws our way is just a sort of long animation thing. Up, oh, he trances. All right, just hit him really hard. Oh wait, that's not going to reflect, is it? Uh, nope, that's the end of the fight. <laughs> 